Hello and uh, welcome to part 3 of tutorial for alias uh, Autodesk alias speed form. So uh, in the last two tutorials we have already looked at uh, some basic shapes and primitives and some basic functions like how to crease set and uh, how to insert edge loops and stuff like that. So we'll combine that to create some very basic shape and do some very basic modeling in this tutorial. So let's get started. So um, we'll choose a primitive, uh, which is a box right here. And we want to create this on the lower plane. So we will just uh, select this quadrant, click here. And now it selects the home grid. We'll click on the center. And if you move, uh, move your cursor to the center, it kind of becomes a box and it uh, snaps to it. So you don't have to do anything, just move it there. Now click it here and we'll uh, create a box like this. Then you can also specify your um, segments and everything. Well, we don't. We are not really going to look for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, right click and move it to OK. And uh, now we have a box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very rough version of uh, Fluid Lee and. Uh, which if you don't know how it looks, it looks something like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you an image of it. There are many versions of that uh, model. So, um, yeah, so uh, we are going to create something that looks roughly like this, not exactly like this, uh, but you know, something like that very quickly. So what are we gonna do? It first step is what we are going to do is we are going to uh, mirror this box because it's right on the axis as you can see because we created it from the center so it's right on the axis we can mirror it easily so what we're going to do is we're going to go to symmetry and we are going to click on a uh, circular mirror a uh, circular internal sorry yep and then we are going to select its faces oops not this sorry and uh, mirror internal select one and two and then click on OK and then we will all again select mirror internal select this and this and then we will click on OK and now it's getting mirrored on all uh, four axes so let's say we want to uh, have uh, oops, yeah. So we want to move this and uh, we want to make this box smaller, we can just move this and it will make the box smaller like this, which is quite useful and make it circular. So let's just start. Uh, first of all, we'll remove this one. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't need that, so we will just delete it. And good thing about uh, speed form is that it deletes and not just removes things. So we're going to go four ahead and select that for Right I'm going to delete it so you know it's has a basic open edged uh, we could have just creased it but I just deleted it because you know we don't need it you should also know that if your box has an opening like this you won't be able to create uh, you won't be able to create uh, do uh, boolean operations on it in speed form at least so that's just something to keep in mind but today we're not doing that so it's not really a problem now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold alt and extrude it and you can see that extruding this is uh, you know even though it's mirrored it won't work like that so what we'll have to do is we'll still have to select all of these to extrude it together and we just extruded it. Let's well, I'm not really used to this. I got I haven't used it in a long time now, so you know just keep a bit of patience here. So 
So till now what I'm doing is I'm just have created a mirror and I'm just using shoot operations. All right, it's just very basic modeling. Right. So you know it, it looks something like that, but it's not it there yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, use not crease operations and just move out the vertex a little bit, and that should uh, really just do the modeling. So you know we have to just get it like that, move it a bit. Slightly out of than that. Okay, uh, right. Now we'll do is we'll add a few uh, edge here, something like this. Right click, click, OK, move it a bit. Double click to select the edge, and then we will just expand it. Uh, clicking on. It's a bit hard. Yeah, like that, and then we can also add a crease right here. Move it on top like that, and like that. Well, if you if you press Shift and double click on the adjoining edge, uh, uh, sorry, adjoining face, it will select the ring of that. And now we will uh, press, uh, we'll hold Alt and drag it outside to create. Uh, and now we'll select these edges and crease them. Let's crease edge. Okay. And we'll just uh, continue with the operations. So right click, drag up, right click, drag right, and just continue doing that. So when we uh, right click and drag up, what it does is it selects uh, repeat crease edge, the last operation. And when you right click and drag to the right, it clicks on OK. And it's a very uh, quick way of just repeating what you just did last. So right click up, right click, right. Okay, so we have this now and we will select this and select that and move it down uh, like that. Also, we will add slight edge here. Don't need it. Add another edge here. Right here. So you can see now that it's getting into shape now. So I'm going to just click on OK. Click on crease edge. OK. Uh, maybe we won't need it after all, so let's delete it.
and you're okay. We'll just move it slightly up. Zoom in, move it a bit up. Sort of bit creepy edge here. Okay. And uncrease it. And if you want, you can weld this vertex to this vertex, but we'll leave it as right now, as it is. And we can also select this and expand it a bit. Something like this. So, uh, and then you can just apply any material to it. Uh, 